today I'm going to be testing out DxO Pure Raw 3 versus DxO Pure Raw 2 to see which one is better and why. So come on, let's get into it, let's see what all the fuss is about, and let's go check them out. So as you can see, I have the four photographs here in DxO Pure Raw 2. I'm now going to get the exact same photographs in Pure Raw 3. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to process the photographs here so first, click on Process Photos, and I'm going to select D Prime, Optical Corrections, as you can see is Global Lens Sharpening, Lens Distortion Correction, Output, Format, DNG, it's all going to be the same, so I'm going to click on Process here. So this is processing here now, and it's telling me there's about 31 seconds remaining. It's doing one of four photographs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed this up along, and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing in Pure Raw 3, and I'm going to tell you how much of a time difference there is on exactly the same photographs across the two. And that's it, we're done. View results. So I'm going to click on view results. Now what I'm going to do is, before we spoil that, I'm going to go back to Pure Raw 3 and do exactly the same thing. So here I am in DxO Pure Raw 3, and I have the four photographs added, and I'm going to click on process now. And yes, we're going to go D Prime XD, Lens Softness Standard. I'm going to keep everything the same as I did the last time for my Pure Raw 3 review. Click on Start Processing. And we're going to click on Overwrite because it's going to overwrite the existing files I did the last time around. And you can see time wise, it's saying there's about 34 seconds remaining. It has done the first one. So there we are finished. I'm going to click on View Results. And I'm going to put the time differences down below on the bottom of the screen here now. I'm going to go back to Pure Raw 2. So this is in Pure Raw 2 here now at the moment. I'm going to zoom in at 140% like I did the last time. We're going to position it here so we can see the staircase, we can see the noise, we can see the candlesticks, and we can see the statue, the writing, the door, everything else. So this is the original, and I'm going to swipe across here now. And as you can see in Pure Raw 2, the optical correction is kicking in number here firstly, moving across here, and the one thing I noticed is how clean it was up here in Pure Raw 3 before and there, then how sharp the candlestick holders were, and then we have the statue here. Then the writing was the other thing I was looking at. So the writing there, detail here, and detail in the statue above and top, and just pulling across. Now that's good. That is good. There's no doubt whatsoever about it. That looks good enough. Now let's check exactly the same thing in Pure Raw 3. Here we are in Pure Raw 3. Going to zoom in to 140% again on exactly the same image. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull across here now, and we're going to have a look and see. And I can see that is a lot sharper. Straight away, that's a lot sharper down along here. The defined edges look, just look a lot better. The noise is a lot cleaner. Noise is gone above and top here. And we're going to go across here now. Yeah, look at the candle holders. They just look a lot sharper there now. And the statue too as well, and that statue above and top. The writing is still brilliant. Uh, yeah, that looks sharper. That looks an awful lot sharper. That really does. So this is the image in Pure Raw 3. And now I'm going to go back to Pure Raw 2. So this is it in Pure Raw 2, just going to reposition that. So look at the detail in the statue, look at the detail in the banister, look at the noise above here and here, look at the detail in the candlestick holder and the statue. So this is Pure Raw 2, this is Pure Raw 3, and they are like night and day. Look at the, look at how much sharper that is. And look how little noise there is above and top here too, how much sharper here is. So just even looking across here first, the banister, the actual spindles on the banister, so that's in Pure Raw 2, and you can see that's soft. Pure Raw 3 is definitely sharper. So Pure Raw 3 wins from a sharpness point of view there. We're going to look at noise then. Let's go up along here now in this section. That looks really clean now. And that's in Pure Raw 3. Going to go back to Pure Raw 2. And Pure Raw 2 looks good too as well. It is just not quite as clean, but it is clean. And above and top here too as well. So looking here and here. This is in Pure Raw 2. We're going to go to Pure Raw 3. That is cleaner. That is cleaner. Now, admittedly, I'm looking at this in a, a professional 32-inch monitor, and my head is nearly stuck into the monitor, and I'm looking at this at 140%, but that is definitely better. So, sharpness is the next thing. Sharpness on the spindles, we saw quite clearly, were better on Pure Raw 3. We're going to look at the likes of the statue here now. So, looking at the statue there, that's in Pure Raw 3. Going to go back to Pure Raw 2. No comparison. There is no, and look, even the writing. Look at the writing. Look at the statue and look at the candle stick holders and the statue above and top here. So that's in Pure Raw 2. Going to go to Pure Raw 3. That is a lot sharper. That is crazy sharp in comparison. Look at the writing here. 
Look at this. Look at that. So that's that's pure raw three there now at the moment. I'm going to go back to pure raw two, and as I say, absolutely identical photographs. But there's no comparison in the two of them. So next we're going to go to the bird and have a look at this. This is my first time looking at this, so I don't know how good how good this is going to be. So this is 140 percent, and right now we're in DxO pure raw two. So just spinning across there, you can see pure raw two is after doing an amazing job of getting rid of all the color noise and giving you a sharper photograph. But there still is noise in the background. There's no doubt about it. There still is quite a bit of noise there. I'm going to go to Pure Raw 3 here now, and exactly the same thing. And look at that. They're like night and day. So this is DxO Pure Raw 3. Look at how sharp the face is, the wings. Look how clean the background is. Going to Pure Raw 2, and that's just not as clean. In Pure Raw 2, you can see there's, there's quite a bit more noise there. There isn't the same level of detail on both the face and going across the wing and on the feathers. So Pure Raw 2, and that's Pure Raw 3. So again, quite a bit better in Pure Raw 3. So the next photograph, let's go to this fella and have a look and see. What I'm going to do is just going to pick the lighthouse here. And we're going to look at a few different things here as regards optical correction, as regards noise reduction, image sharpness. So this is Pure Raw 3. And we're going to go in Pure Raw 2 and do exactly the same thing and try and position it in the same way. And I think that's kind of close enough. So this is Pure Raw 2. I'm looking at the sharpness at the edge of the building and the sharpness of the rocks. We're looking at the stars. We're looking at noise. We're even looking at this fill up along here and the railing going around. So that's Pure Raw 2. Yeah, in Pure Raw 3, it, just the sharpness of the building there, the outside edges of the building, the railing above and top, that little spike up along there, transmitter, it all really just does look sharper. Looking at the noise in the background, again, this is Pure Raw 3 here now. Looking at that and going back to Pure Raw 2. Hmm, yeah, there's, uh, being honest you, the details after the stars and whatnot uh, is what I'm just looking at here now. Pure Raw 3. There's a few more squigglies and things here in Pure Raw 3 that I hadn't noticed before in comparison to Pure Raw 2. So if you're into astrophotography, I'm not so sure about that. Look at all those little star trails and whatnot after the stars themselves. Whereas when I go to Pure Raw 2, the image is a lot softer though. Is it just picking out all those minute details and amplifying them a bit more? Which is actually what it looks like. So, if the stars were actually completely round, the image would look totally different. Right, so I'm going to leave that one up to your own discretion, but just looking at the outside sharpness of the tower, the railing, the spike, the stars and everything else, that is definitely sharper on Pure Raw 3. Again, we're back to Pure Raw 2, so this is Pure Raw 2. Just look at those details running down along here on the top of the wall, and then we're going to Pure Raw 3. That is sharper. Yeah, it is sharper. There isn't much in it. So for Astro, there probably isn't a huge difference. Let's go back to some portraiture now here now and have a look at this. So we're in Pure Raw 3 here now at the moment. And I am looking at his face. I'm looking at the jumper. And I'm looking at the hat. And I'm looking at distortion here too as well in the background and image sharpness here. So this is Pure Raw 3. Let's have a look in Pure Raw 2. And go to the final image. And pull this down along here. And again, not as sharp. Look at 2016 there. Look at these photographs in the background. Look at his face. Look at the jumper. Look at the hat. Look at his hands. I'm looking at so many little different things. Look at the wire coming down here off that lock, is it? Let's have a look in Pure Raw 3. Give it a second. It is, that's Pure Raw 3. And that's Pure Raw 2. It is sharper. It is sharper. Looking at 2016 here, looking at that lock, looking at the jumper and looking at the face, that's Pure Raw 2. That is Pure Raw 3. The face is definitely sharper. The jumper is definitely sharper. Yeah, 2016 isn't, yeah, there isn't much of a difference there, actually. So Pure Raw 3 and Pure Raw 2. It is fractionally sharper. Fractionally, but not an awful lot of a difference. But as regards the face, the face is definitely sharper. And the jumper, the details, the textures are sharper. So yeah, um, I suppose what it boils down to is, on the first photograph, this photograph, there is no comparison to the two of them. Pure Raw 3 is definitely a lot sharper. The bird shot, you can see that Pure Raw 3 is again quite a lot better. There's no noise and it is sharper again. The third photograph then, that was kind of a mixed bag. It was, it was kind of... 
You can see pros and cons. I couldn't fault Pure Raw 2 in comparison to Pure Raw 3, but the one thing is Pure Raw 3 is bringing out an awful lot more of these small little sort of trailing effect details in the stars and whatnot. Now, they probably were there in the image in a very minor way, but they're being amplified now in Pure Raw 3. But again, I'm zoomed in at 140%. When you pull back out long, and when you look at that image normally, you wouldn't have a hope of seeing that. And in the final image, Pure Raw 3 is just that small bit sharper than Pure Raw 2. So um, I hope this helped you. Are you going to upgrade from Pure Raw 2 to Pure Raw 3? And if so, why? I suppose for me personally, I would definitely see Pure Raw 3 as being a nice step ahead of Pure Raw 2. At the end of the day, I suppose it's down to you. It's down to what style of photography you're shooting. And um, yeah, that, that, that's basically it, guys. Um, thanks a million for watching. And I hope this video helped you. And see you out there, everyone.